Time to play with some clay. Well, I've split the nose a little bit because I think it was too sh short of a nose, and I'm just going to add maybe an eighth of an inch and see how that looks. All right, this is uh, the next day. I worked a little bit last night. I had uh, a friend come over, so not much work got done once he got here. And that's no big thing. I love having my friends come by. So I'm gonna continue working on the dog. I've been working on his eyes, getting them uh, to look more like the eyes in the picture up here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, they were different than the uh, eyes that I had. I don't want to finish the piece today. I want to at least get the uh, sculpture to a point where I can photograph it and uh, people will be able to see what it's going to look like. If I sell one, then I'll spend a couple of weeks fine-tuning it and getting it ready for the foundry. But there's no need to overexert myself now on that because I haven't got anybody. I got people interested, but nobody has the money to buy it. <laughs> That's a big, big difference. So... The thing is to get it out there in photographs and at least let people know it's an unfinished clay, but uh, 
at some point it will be finished. Um, I'm not even going to work on his feet. I was going to work on his feet, but I'm just going to let that ride right now. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put him back on the figure as is. I've got him far enough along confirmation like or wise and uh, now I need to start working on the base. So I'm going to have to call it quits on the dog for now and pick that up at another date. That looks pretty good. Now I gotta design this whole thing thing to come apart so they I can still work on the dog. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. I like this piece. I like how it's current turning out. I'm glad I spent the time on the dog. I still got to clear out the space between the dog and the end of the uh, scabbard, the bow scabbard. And, uh, but now I got to fill in between the dog and the, the base. So I'm going to use aluminum foil to do that with. All right, I got to get back in here. So I'm going to cut this legging off. I think I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to do that with. thing about clay is you can put everything back together. And I gotta put that someplace where it won't come in conflict with what I'm doing. And the reason I'm using aluminum foil because it's cheaper than clay. right up to the uh, base of the dog so the dog will come away 
from all this real easy light. Now you see why I took that legging off. Okay. You're not going to be able to see much, so I'm going to stop recording right now and come back. I'm adding a uh, lump of uh, aluminum foil. I think I better take that off. I'm adding a lump of aluminum foil to the uh, outer edge of the dog's base so that I've got uh, a rock feature that I can put in there. I'm putting a washer on the outside of the uh, aluminum foil to hold it in place. It just makes the base a little lighter if uh, you don't have it all clay. Now I've got to keep the opening here so that I can reach that screw. So I can disconnect him from the base. will eventually make this uh, blob of uh, aluminum foil into a rock. I know it's hard to see, but I'm working around that screw as best I can. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of wood back here. Well, it's just going to increase the size of this base, and I'm not happy about that. But, got to do what I got to do. And, uh, so this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Does that rhyme or what? I know it seems like I'm going to extreme, but I'm thinking things through because if you lock it in and you can't get the dog off to work on it, you just defeated the purpose of uh, making the dog removable. may have to put another piece of wood over here just a small piece so this is why you don't ever throw away scrap wood because <laughs> you never know when you're going to have to have some yeah gonna have to redrill that hole go so now that whole dog unit can come out I don't have to worry about the front of it because I'll just split it right there now I'll uh, put another lump of uh, aluminum foil here Mm 
the beauty about this the dog is held on with one screw and this whole unit comes off I'm gonna test it out here in a second one screw and the dog lifts up and out and as you can see I've got aluminum foil there goes back in easily easy squeezy lemon peasy or is it easy yeah that's about I think that's right <laughs> all right that's gonna be it for tonight I've got as far as I can today and uh, I'm liking how it all turned out and uh, it's going to be it's going to work out just fine i want to do some designing on the base and i can't i can't do that tonight because i've got to go uh get the video out for tonight so anyway i just wanted to let you know uh i'm going to come so anyway i'll be back tomorrow and i'll work on this uh, clay tomorrow all right got to get the video out tonight so i'm gonna to have to quit good night everybody see you next time happy sculpting Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.